Hello, Stephen Coates here again and welcome. Uh, what I want to do here is just show you something from the book uh, that I wrote a few years ago, The Watercolour Enigma. And uh, in here I explain something which I call a wash and dab technique. Now this is actually explained on page 35 here where we paint these small squares and try and blend the paint or get control over blending paint. So I've got a blank piece of Bockingford paper here. I've got two of my favourite colours. I've mixed some ultramarine and light red together to give me a lovely plum colour. And I'm using burnt sienna. So if I start with a swatch, I'll call these swatches. I'll just paint a swatch of burnt sienna here. I'll just get that a little bit wetter. So there's a swatch of burnt sienna. Now if I want to blend into that some of this plum colour, this ultramarine light red mix, let me put this on, it's quite strong. So I start here on the dry paper and I move the brush up and down across until it meets, comes into contact with the burnt sienna. Now at this point here, the two paints are starting to merge. And if I want to control that blend, get this transition a little bit smoother, maybe get a little bit more of the purple to come across here, what a lot of people do is they'll get the brush and they'll start trying to pull it across. Well, you can see what happens as it pulls the paint across. As the brush comes off, it leaves these stripes, these marks here. So moving the brush that way is not the way to control blending paint. The idea is to move it that way. Now this brush I've got here is now full of this plum colour, so I need to wash it. Now let me show you what happens if you wash it and try and control that with a brush full of water. As soon as you touch it, look what happens, you just you can't control it, it's too wet and that, as, as this video progresses, you will see that that water will start to separate that paint. So we need to try and get this brush into some kind of neutral position to be able to stop this happening. So we could wash it and squeeze it. Well, if we squeeze it really dry, I'll just get a rag here and show you. If you take too much water out of it and empty it, this behaves like a little vacuum cleaner now. If I touch that now, it actually takes the paint away and the paint comes up into the brush and it, again it will stop me from controlling this uh, as, as I want to control it. So let me just show you this a couple of times in, in real time. Let's just do this swatch again. So let me get this burnt sienna. So as I'm painting this, let me just explain this to you. This neutral position that you want your brush in to control blending is something that all watercolour artists, all of them, are aware of and will do. Now they won't all do it the same way. I'll come to that in a sec. Let me put this plum colour on. So if I move the plum colour across into the burnt sienna nice and gently until I reach say there, what I do now is I wash the brush out and instead of using a wet brush or annihilating it by taking all the water out, this is why I call it a dab. What I do is I just basically roll the brush round and use the edge of the brush to get rid of all of the excess water. The brush now will neither deliver water or suck water up off the paper. And I can now easily move the brush across from side to side like that and it will just smooth it out. Let me do it again. Wash, dab, and move across. And if there's still enough water on there, the water will smooth out those brush marks. And as you can see, I've got a lovely controlled blend. You can do this if you were painting, say, a stone or a pebble, uh, which again is something that's in the book. So let's, let's just paint a circle instead. Get plenty of water on this. Let's just show you this an, an, another way around. 
So if I wanted a, a nice round stone like this and then I want a shady side to it, there we are, I'll go for my shady paint and what I'll do is I'll drop that all, if you get a little bit more, I'll drop that all round this outside edge and I'll just put that paint in. Now as you can see that's moving but I haven't got a nice soft transition here. So I don't want to start pulling the paint across because that'll just give me lines. So this time I'm going to wash the brush out. We'll just dab it again. This is a neutral position of the brush and this will enable me just to put the brush down and touch this area of plumb and just gently ease it across like that. It's a very gentle touch look. But it allows me to manipulate that blend without adding water or taking water away. And as you can see, that moving water is giving me a lovely transition again there. This is something that you could sit down and do over and over again. You could do them this way. Let's do one on here. We could go that way up. And this is something that I've practiced over and over and over again over the years. There we are, wash, dab, and I can start there, look, and come all the way back through that blend. Again, if I want to do it again, I've got to wash it because it's now got the, the plum colour in it. Wash, dab, but you've got to do it quickly because once it's dried, you won't be able to do it. There we are. That's a lovely transition again of the two colours. And just to finish this little piece off, I'll just show you, sometimes you will see, I said all artists do this, all artists are aware of it and all artists do this. And I've got several friends in the trade and I've watched them all and I've watched lots of videos and you can see all kinds of strange things going on to uh, get control or get the brush neutral. Uh, for example, some uh, artists will actually just wash the brush and then they'll tap it bang 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 we'll tap it on the edge of an easel uh, I know my friend David Bellamy is constantly pulling the brush through his fingers like this you'll see him as he paints doing this so if any of you have ever wondered what he's doing he's doing exactly what I've just described he is just pulling the excess water off the outside of the brush feeling it to get control of the brush look it does exactly the same job like so so you can use whatever method you want to uh, neutralise the brush. I've described it as wash and dab using a rag. Uh, you could use your sleeve, your trousers, an apron, whatever you want. But hopefully that has helped people to understand the principle of controlling a wet into wet blend using a neutralised paintbrush. Uh, if you haven't got a copy of the Watercolour Enigma already, it has sold thousands worldwide and... Uh, it's full of wonderful tips and tricks like that, so get yourself a copy. Thank you very much and hopefully see you again soon in another, another video.